everyone, my name is Alyssa Harriman and I am so excited to be here with you tonight and to share with you a little bit of information around healthy eating. To let you know a little bit about myself, I am a, a nutritionist and I have been teaching nutrition now for more than 15 years. I spent more than 12 years specializing in nutritional therapy for those with cancer. And here in Canada, I actually teach the nutrition program at an internationally recognized nutrition college. In addition to all of that, I am a mom of four, so I understand the challenges that busy families face. And my goal tonight is that I'm going to give you some usable information that you can take home and apply to your family right away. My career actually started in the healthcare industry where I felt incredibly frustrated by the amount of conditions that I was working with that were entirely preventable. And in seeing these preventable diseases and how they impacted the quality of life of the people who were suffering from them. So I ended up dropping out of healthcare and decided to become a nutritionist where I would be able to educate families on how to make healthier choices. I'm a big believer that educated people make educated decisions. And that's why we're here together tonight. I'm gonna to share with you some information that hopefully will have a positive benefit to your long-term health and wellness based on the things that you choose to implement. So as we move forward and start looking at some solutions and strategies for healthy living, what I wanna to quickly touch on is some of the things that we're up against. I know families are busy and they lack the time for food prep and for planning. And a lot of times we're just not getting good nutrition into our body. Some of the other concerns that I have is that we have a large environmental exposure to chemicals and toxins. From the chemicals that they use to grow our foods to the chemicals used in the processing or manufacturing of our foods. And also considering the fact that some of our produce isn't as nutritionally dense as it once was. You know, a lot of this has to do with the produce being shipped long distances, so it's often harvested before it's perfectly ripened. And it's really in those final days of ripening that all those nutrients and antioxidants are present. We also know that once foods are harvested, every hour that they are, have been harvested, they are losing nutrients. So by the time we get it in our grocery store and get it in our home, it can be days or even weeks later, which means that we're just not getting the nutritional impact that we want to get from our whole foods. And that is why most organizations are recommending consuming anywhere between seven and 13 servings of fruits and vegetables a day. And the way I, I explain that to my clients is think about handfuls. You know, how many handfuls of fruits and vegetables did you consume yesterday? How many handfuls of fruits and vegetables did you consume the day before? Because really, we need to eat a large amount now in order to get the quality nutrition that our body needs. And my goal tonight is to help you simplify just that. You know, families are busy and they're overwhelmed and they're hardworking and, you know, there's just so much going on, which has made us turn to a diet of convenience. We're looking for foods that we can fill in in between our busy days. And the challenge with that is convenience foods are often highly processed foods. And these highly processed foods not only lack naturally occurring nutrition, but in addition to that, they can have additional chemicals like preservatives and flavor enhancers and additional sodium and sugar and unhealthy fats and all kinds of things that do not optimally nourish our body. In fact, many of these food ingredients have to be detoxified and broken down by the body. And in order for our body to do that, we need to have good quality nutrition coming in on a daily basis. So if you are a fast-paced individual or live in a fast-paced family and you guys are relying on more convenient or fast-paced foods, I'm so glad that you are here tonight because I'm positive I'm going to help you make some changes to start to bring more of the right nutrition into your body on a daily basis. So what concerned me the most in healthcare was that I really truly felt that preventable disease is epidemic. And when we look at the rates of cardiovascular disease and cancers and diabetes, you know, not all of them are 100% preventable, but a lot of it is. And a lot of these diseases are influenced by our environment and they're influenced by our lifestyle and by our diet. And by having good knowledge in positioning yourself to make great choices, you can do things that could potentially reduce your risk of disease down the road.
I'm a big believer that our body always wants to be in a state of health, but we have to give it the building blocks in order to be there. Everything that you put into your body is either having a positive benefit or a negative consequence, everything. Now, the good news is you don't have to be perfect 100% of the time in order to live in a healthy body, but you do have to make good choices a ma the majority of the time in order to support a healthy overall body. And we're gonna look at some strategies to help you do that. But before we do, I want to help you understand the most important foods that you can be nourishing your body with. Now, I encourage my clients to consume a minimum of 80% of their calories from whole foods. All right, well, what are whole foods? Well, it's really, really simple. It's the plant kingdom foods. They're fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds, whole grains, and legumes. And these are the foods that provide all of the nutrients that our body needs in order to function optimally. So the larger variety of whole foods you consume, again, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, whole grains, and legumes. The larger variety of those you consume, the more nutrients and fiber and antioxidants that your body receives, which we know helps to support overall healthy body function. So we know when you eat enough of these whole foods, you actually support your body's natural detoxification pathways. You know, our body is capable of dealing with some of this toxic burden that we're being exposed to. We definitely want to help you reduce that toxic exposure, but you know, the, some exposure is going to be inevitable. And when you have good quality nutrients in your diet, you support those metabolic pathways of detoxification and support your body's ability to break down and eliminate those toxins. In addition to that, our immune system needs nutrients in order to function. And if we lack key nutrients, we can potentially be impairing the healthy overall function of our immune system. The same goes for our cardiovascular system, our hormonal pathways, and even play, nutrition plays a role in the amount of inflammation in your body. We know the more antioxidants that occur in your diet, the better functioning your immune system can be. And we also know that antioxidants help to reduce inflammatory hormones. Well, what does that mean? Well, if you have less inflammatory hormones, there's a really great opportunity that you're going to have less inflammation in your body. Well, what is inflammation? How does it show up? Well, it shows up as aches and pains, and it can also show up as chronic fatigue as well. And in addition to all of this, when you put good nutrition into your body, you support healthy cognitive function. You provide the nutrients that helps your brain fire and receive messages. Now, what's important to recognize about whole food nutrition and nutrients is a lot of them are not stored. We call those water-soluble nutrients. Well, why does that matter? Well, these water-soluble nutrients have to be consumed on a daily basis because we don't store them. And if we lack a quality diet and we don't eat enough whole foods, we can actually become deficient in these nutrients fairly quickly. And a lot of these nutrients play a role in detoxification, the immune system, cardiovascular health, our hormone pathways, the inflammatory response in our body, and in addition to that, our mental health. So it is very, very important that we focus on planning for a good quality diet on a daily basis, which is why I wanted to share with you some information around eat out some tips really that you can implement to live a healthier lifestyle. And as I go through them, I want you to think about what ones are you doing really, really well and what ones could you potentially improve upon? So we're gonna look at seven nutrition tips for a healthy future. And as I just explained, number one step is you have to eat more plants. I want you to think about how many fruits and vegetables are you regularly consuming? right? And how can you maybe find ways to increase them? 
We know that when you eat a variety of plants on a daily basis, you support overall health in your entire body. You position your body to heal and repair and detoxify and produce healthy amounts of energy. Now, we know based on research that the more plants you consume, the more nutrients you're providing for the, your body, and, and there's an impact and a potential to reduce your risk for preventable disease. Now, some of these facts are basing our diets around plant foods like vegetables, fruits, whole grains, and beans, which contain fiber and other nutrients, can reduce our risk of cancer. We also know that plant-based diets reduce the risk for heart disease by up to 40%. And in addition to that, healthy diet and lifestyle behaviors could prevent 40% of cancer cases. These are big concerns that are happening all around us. And by simply eating more plants and eating less processed foods, we can have a tremendous impact on our overall health. Now, uh, I am a big reader, and I, I hope that uh, you are as well, and one of my favorite books is called The China Study, and this is a really great textbook that gives you great information on the role that consuming more plants can play in your risk factors for disease down the road. So if you ever get the opportunity to grab a copy of this book, I strongly suggest that you do and have a read. It's science-based and incredibly user-friendly, and it's going to give you some aha moments and help reinforce the importance of consuming more plants in your diet. Now tip number two is to drink more water. And I really want to strongly encourage that you drink filtered water. Well, why is drinking water such an important uh, point to that as out of all the things that I could teach you, the second one on the list next to eating plants is to drink more water. Well, the reason for that is because we need enough hydration on a daily basis in order to support healthy elimination. And if we're dehydrated, we can actually reduce the amount of toxin elimination from our body. We want to make sure we're supporting a healthy digestive tract and that our overall body and system is clean. Your hydration level also plays a role in how much energy you have and feel throughout the day. And when you're dehydrated, it actually impacts your blood volume. Your blood volume can start to decrease a little bit. And when that happens, you decrease the amount of nutrients and oxygen that reaches the cells of your body. A lot of times we misinterpret hunger as uh, thirst really as hunger when really we're just very dehydrated. Now, one of the questions I get is, Alyssa, how much water am I supposed to drink on a daily basis? And it really is very dependent on you. You know, it can depend on your physical activity level. It can depend on if you have any medications that act like a diuretic. It could depend on the amount of caffeine that you consume that acts as a diuretic in the body as well. So we really have no one size fits all approach for hydration. Typically what I encourage my clients, you know, who are adults and normal healthy adults is aim for about minimum of two liters a day. Try to get 500 milliliters in the morning, another 500 around the lunch hour, another 500 in the afternoon, and then dinner and evening, try to get another 500 mils in. If you're exercising, living in a hot climate, drinking caffeinated beverages, you're going to need to get a little bit more in. Healthy tip number three is to reduce processed foods and refined sugars and also artificial sugars in the diet. Well, a lot of times people go, well, those are the fun things. Well, they're also the things that I truly believe harm our body, especially when they are consumed in excess. We really do not want to have these as part of our normal diet. Now, that's not to be said that, you know, every once in a while a treat shows up. That's okay. We just don't want them regularly in our diet. They are processed, they don't contain any of the naturally occurring nutrients found in whole foods. A lot of times they have chemicals and sugars and sodiums that can disrupt normal healthy function of the body. And essentially every time we have these foods, it's kind of a little bit like we're poisoning our body. And you might think, oh my goodness, that's a big statement, but it really is. When we put something in our body that has no nutritional benefit, we actually have to deal with the consequences of those foods. And when we consume a lot of these foods over and over, we stand the risk of really harming our body and harming our health. Now, when we eat these foods, we also have to use our body's own stored nutrition to deal with them because they don't contain the naturally occurring nutrition. 
And I just think it's so important to start to recognize where are these foods finding their way in? Is there a certain time of the day that you're craving something sweet? Are you adding sweeteners or sugars you know, to coffee or tea? Are you drinking soda? Or is there certain nights of the week that you're grabbing you know, a meal to go? Thinking about where are these processed foods showing up and what is it that you can do to reduce them in your diet? First step is you have to identify where they're coming in. Uh, tip number four is to limit caffeine and alcohol. And I know so many people who live on what I call rocket fuel, where they're requiring caffeine just to get through their day. And if that is the case, there's a pretty good chance that if you improve the amount of whole foods you consume and you start to put more fruits and vegetables and whole grains and nuts and seeds and legumes in your diet and get more naturally occurring nutrition, you're probably going to require a little bit less caffeine to get through your day. The challenge with caffeine and alcohol is they both interfere with some of our liver function. So in excess, they can actually cause problems. In addition to that, caffeine is a diuretic. So even though you're using it to have be fueled, you actually are increasing dehydration, uh, which then can also impact your energy level. These two can cause imbalances in our blood sugar levels, which causes us to have cravings for the wrong foods or highs and lows in energy. So I strongly advise, you know, paying attention to where are they showing up, how much is coming into your diet, and how can you reduce to eliminate these uh, so that you are learning to live without this artificial fuel and you're not relying on alcohol to kind of maybe calm your nerves at the end of the day, but by fueling your body with the right foods, you're allowing for your body to have steady energy levels and to better manage stress without using caffeine and alcohol. Number five is to avoid dairy and gluten. And this is always a statement that gets people because they're like, oh my gosh, what would I do without cheese? Or I thought milk was good for us. And here's the, the reality about these two foods. They really are very pro-inflammatory foods. So for individuals who are doing, dealing with inflammatory challenges, consuming dairy and gluten can actually be more problematic for them. Now, what I teach in my practice is something called an elimination diet. And it's really where you give your body the opportunity to live without dairy and gluten from anywhere from 10 to 21 days, really long enough to abstain, to allow all the residue to clean out of your body, for your body to start to heal and repair if these foods are problematic. Then at the end of 10 or 21 days, you reintroduce them one at a time. Normally I say, choose one, introduce it, wait about three days, see how you feel. If you don't have any adverse symptoms, adding it back in, then do the second one. In my practice, about eight out of 10 individuals who eliminate these and add them back in, eight out of 10 actually find that they have a problem when they reintroduce one or both of them, uh, and which is just an indication of how big of an intolerance these two foods are for the average person. You might not recognize that you have any symptoms because they're typically within your diet. But once you eliminate them and let your body feel what it feels like not to have them, and then when you put them back in, most often you're going to know whether or not they make you feel good or they make you feel worse. And we really don't know if they're problematic until we take a break from them. And the reason, again, that I recommend considering avoiding or reducing them or at least doing the, the elimination test is because these are very inflammatory foods for a lot of people. And inflammation can lead to things like aches and pains and can also impact our energy levels. And if we wanna feel great and be optimally nourished, we wanna remove anything that's harming, potentially harming our body, which is why my number five tip is to avoid or at least do the elimination test when it comes to dairy and gluten. Tip number six is to have daily grains, daily greens, I should say, and daily smoothies. Now, I love dark greens. I love dark greens so much. I actually bought a tower garden eight years ago and I've been growing greens in my home for eight full years. You know, these dark greens are spinach, our kale, our parsley, our romaine lettuce, uh, you know, arugula, all of these dark greens are very, very nutrient dense. We actually consider them in the nutrition field to be superfoods because of how much nutrients are present in them. And those nutrients support things like healthy blood. They help support a healthy immune system. They provide the nutrients that supports healthy blood, uh, like red blood cells and healthy immune system function. 
They also support, have nutrients that support those liver detox pathways that help us break down those environmental toxins that we're exposed to. So I am a big believer and I actually encourage my clients to get anywhere from three to five servings of dark greens on a daily basis, uh, which is why, of course, we grow in a tower garden because we need to have lots of chemical-free greens available year round. In addition to that, smoothies are a really great way to get a lot of nutrition in a cup. You know, you can add one or two handfuls of greens. You can add frozen berries and fruit into that. I love the complete powder. We're going to talk about that here in just a few minutes. And by adding all that nutrition, you are getting more nutrition in a glass than you could get on a plate. And it's a great way to up your fruit and vegetable servings with having a busy lifestyle. So I strongly encourage having smoothies every single day. And tip number seven is to plan your clean eating. It is so important that if you want to eat healthy, you got to plan to eat healthy. Basically, as a nutritionist, I help people plan, but you do not need to have a nutritionist in order to plan your menu. And my tips for very successful menu planning is keep your breakfast the same Monday to Friday. Whether it's a smoothie every single morning, or maybe you're going to do oatmeal and have a smoothie for morning snack, whatever that is, keep it consistent on the weekdays. It's going to save you time, and it's going to help you have the right foods on hand. The second step in meal planning is to plan your dinners and map them out based on the busyness of your schedule. If you have a very busy night, you might want to cook an extra serving of dinner the night before that you can then have as leftovers the following night. At our house, our dinner often becomes lunch leftovers. So once our breakfast is planned for the week, we map out our dinners, that then becomes lunch the next day. Then all we have to do is fill in those gaps, those snacks, with fresh fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, you know, uh, other whole grains, legumes like hummus and having, you know, veggies and hummus. We're just filling in those snacks with other fresh, unprocessed whole foods. And when you have a plan, you are much more likely to eat the right foods and you are less likely to eat those processed foods that we really want to avoid. So thinking about, you know, all of these tips and what you're going to implement or maybe the ones that you've already checked off, if you want to take your nutrition to the next level, you absolutely want to make sure that you are mapping out a plan every single week. And you don't have to count carbs or calories or figure out what your macro ratios are. None of that is necessary. If you are planning for healthy meals and snacks, there's a much higher likelihood that you are going to eat healthy meals and snacks. It also makes planning for grocery shopping a lot easier. Now, I recognize that there are things that prevent families from eating enough of the right foods, specifically those whole foods. A lot of times I'm working with families who, you know, Doritos gives their body a completely different effect than eating an apple, right? Because of those flavor enhancers and those chemicals and sodium and how it's broken down in the body. We get a completely different, what I call a chemical response versus a nutritional response that we get when eating an apple. And it does take a little while for taste preferences to change but here's what I do know about nutrition. The more good stuff that you put into your body, the more your body's going to crave good stuff. And the moment you start to make little changes and start to incorporate maybe a smoothie daily, maybe planning healthier dinners and eating more fruits and vegetables throughout the day, the more your body is going to benefit from that and send you signals to consume more of it. But have a little bit of patience, especially if you got little ones and you're changing their diets. Uh, it does take a little bit a time to adjust to that but stay consistent because you know my experience in my practice has been it only takes you know a couple weeks for families to really switch to a healthy diet and start to remove most of the processed foods from their diet the other challenges that show up for families when it comes to healthy eating is a cost, which can be reduced with planning. You can significantly reduce your monthly uh, uh, grocery bill by planning each week. Prep time, picky eating, and the quality of the food that's available at the grocery store. Normally what I suggest for busy families is just have a time block once a week where you get some of that prep done or think about throughout the day, where can you fit in a little bit of that healthy prep time? 
With picky eaters at home, build a likes list for them. Put it on the side of the fridge. It is a list of all of the healthy different uh, foods and meals and snacks that they like. And the only thing that gets to go on that list is the healthy options. And what happens is as new items get added, it just becomes positive reinforcement. It's something to celebrate for picky eaters. And then what ends up happening is they get excited to try new things to determine whether or not they can add it to their likes list. It's a simple activity that can have a tremendous impact on a family that's struggling with picky eating. For quality, growing your own, you know, for us, it was, we improved the quality by having a tower garden or sourcing good local farms, farmers markets, uh, good whole food based grocery stores, just try to source out where you can get better quality food. And if you're just not sure what to do with fruits and vegetables and whole grains and legumes, because it's just not part of maybe how you were raised or you just didn't develop that skill, then plug into your healthy living community because they have cookbooks and guides and there's somebody who's going to be willing to give you some advice to help you move forward. That's so, what's so wonderful about a healthy living community is the opportunity to learn and grow from each other. Now, one of the questions I get a lot of times is, you know, Alyssa, how come you don't recommend multivitamin and mineral formulas? And there's a really good reason why I don't. And the challenge with synthetic vitamin and mineral formulas is that these nutrients, once they're outside their natural form, are not well recognized or absorbed by the body. And the challenge with, it, with taking them is actually some of these nutrients compete for absorption. So if you take too much of one guy, you can actually cause deficiencies in another guy. And it kind of just becomes this constant game of educated guessing. As a nutritionist, I've taught supplement courses. I teach a cancer program at a nutrition college. I have seen every product I feel in the market. And I just don't believe that we can out supplement a bad diet. I really truly believe that we need to eat the quality nutrition because the nutrients that are found in whole foods are recognized and they're bioavailable, which means our body knows what to do with them. They're in the perfect formula for absorption and they contain other nutrients that aid in the absorption. So instead of being a high risk for causing deficiencies, I believe that whole foods help to correct deficiencies. And the nutrition that we really need needs to come from whole food sources. Now, I recognize that for many of us, we still have gaps in our diet. We're not eating the recommended seven to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables on a daily basis. And in those instances, for most of us, myself included, I think that what we should be looking for is concentrated whole food to fill those gaps versus fake vitamins and minerals that our body doesn't recognize. A lot of times at the nutrition college, I'll get nutritionists who will, you know, come up and ask me a question or send me an email and they'll say like, you know, we know families are not eating enough fruits and vegetables. I cannot believe, you know, you're not recommending any multivitamin formulas. And I haven't for most of my practice. And I just say to them, I'm like, listen, if multivitamin, synthetic vitamin and mineral formulas was perfect science. It's not, it's mostly just educated guessing. But if it was perfect science, you'd walk into a health food store and there would be one formula. But if you've been in a health food store recently, there's hundreds if not thousands of formulas because it's not perfect science. My belief is that whole food nutrition is perfect nutrition for our body. And we've proven that through nutritional science. There's a large body of clinical research that shows that nutrients found in whole foods absolutely has a positive benefit on our body. And that's why as a practitioner, I'm actually pretty outspoken against fad dieting because I don't believe in restricting the body of any of the macronutrients like pro, uh, carbohydrates or fats or reducing calories. When we follow restrictive programs, we're not focusing on increasing the quality of nutrition in our body. We're focusing on reducing, uh, you know, some sort of uh, nutrition for really, you know, whether it's carbohydrates, fats or calories, we're actually reducing the amount of nutrition we put into our body and we might get a result but because we've done nothing to clean up the body or make the body healthier that result is often found to be temporary when we focus on lifestyle based healthy living where we're eating more whole foods we're reducing processed foods we're drinking more water we're reducing caffeine and alcohol we're removing inflammatory foods from our body and we're just focusing on adding good clean nutrition the results tend 
tend to be a little bit slower, but not only do you get results that are much easier to maintain, you're going to be living in a healthier body as a result. It's not about restriction. It's about improving the quality of the nutrition that you are putting into your body on a daily basis. And when the question comes up and they say, Alyssa, what supplements do you recommend? Here's the checklist that I have always had in my practice that I tell people to look for. And what's been so amazing is that the Juice Plus products, when I was introduced to those by a personal trainer, I actually spent almost a year looking at these products, reading the research, looking at the ingredients, and because these were the boxes that I had to have checked. They had to be whole food based. I needed to know that the nutrients in those products were going to be recognized and absorbed by the body and have the, the more naturally occurring level of nutrients in there. So it needed to be whole food. I wanted it to be natural. I didn't want a whole bunch of synthetic ingredients in any product that I would use for my own body, for my four children, or in my practice. I needed third-party validation that those products were clean. I needed to know that those products were going to be safe for the average person. And if there was any sort of human clinical evidence that, that taking those products had some positive outcome, then I was looking for that as well. And that's why prior to the Juice Plus company, I didn't carry any specific health product in my practice. I would send people to the health food store for odds and ends, but really I wanted them to try to get as much of their nutrition from whole food as possible, which I still continue to do. So the Juice Plus products checked all of those boxes for me. And for the past eight years, I have been using them in my practice with all of my clients. Uh, we've been using them at home with positive benefits. And what I love so very much about these products is they are whole food based. It's not synthetic vitamins and minerals. They're third party tested through NSF testing that their products are clean. It's this Juice Plus company is a non-GMO company and they're the most researched health product line in the world. And in addition to that, they don't have any dairy or gluten. So we don't have to worry about any of you who have intolerances. And when I look at the ingredients of Juice Plus, I see a variety of ingredients at a much larger scale than I could consume on a daily basis. I tend to eat a lot of the same fruits and vegetables at my house. And there's a lot of days that I don't get this kind of variety into my diet. So what's so wonderful about using the Juice Plus products is I'm getting these whole foods in dehydrated form in a very large variety into my bloodstream and into my children every single day. So regardless of what kind of day we have, whether it's a good clean eating day or maybe we were on the road and busy and we had, you know, some times where we didn't eat enough of the right foods, I know that the gaps in our diet are being filled with concentrated whole food nutrition. The Juice Plus Complete is my absolutely favorite shake mix on the market. Uh, prior to Complete, I had never given my children a shake because either the plant-based formulas, which I strongly recommend, had adult dose of vitamins, which wasn't safe for the kids, or they had adult dose of synthetic vitamins, and they had herbal ingredients. Juice Plus Complete is made entirely of whole food. It's incredible bioavailable nutrition for our body. It's also designed to, as, to stabilize your blood sugar. It's certified low glycemic. Well, what does that mean? That means that you're going to have more steady energy levels because your blood sugar levels are more steady. When you ride the blood sugar roller coaster, you're likely to have highs and lows. The lows will cause cravings, uncontrolled hunger. The highs will cause hyperactivity, which can then be followed by a low. We really want to encourage stable blood sugar levels. And the fact that complete is certified low glycemic means that when I give it to my kids on their way out the door in the morning, they're going to school with stable blood sugar levels. When I have a complete smoothie in the afternoon, which is typically the time that I used to hit that low and maybe start to look for a coffee or something sweet, when I have my smoothie at that time, I'm actually stabilizing my blood sugar and positioning myself to have less cravings and have more controlled hunger and also to be making better choices at my next meal. 
Now, the Juice Plus company has an incredible program called the Healthy Starts for Family program. And this is where for every adult, a child between the ages of four and 18 or still in post-secondary can receive their products for free for up to four years. I want you to think about the commitment on behalf of this company to ensure health and wellness, not just for just mom and dad, but for the entire family. There is over a million families that are receiving Juice Plus products for their children for free. And I think that is just an incredible impact that this company is having on the health and wellness of families all over the world. And I am absolutely beyond proud to be a part of this. Juice Plus also has a vegan omega. Now we know essential fatty acids are vital for overall health. We call them essential because they have to be obtained from the diet. Our body doesn't make them themselves. And for lots of us, we understand we need good, healthy omega-3 in our diet. Now, it was once believed that the best way to do that was through fish supplementation, fish oil supplementation, which I have discouraged for more than 11 years in my practice, because we just don't want the fatty tissue of an animal that might not be swimming in very clean water. What we actually want to do is get good, clean, essential fatty acids from plants. And what's so wonderful about the Juice Plus Omega is they actually went to the source of the omega-3 for the fish, which is the LJ oil, and combined that with some other nutrient-dense, high antioxidant plant oils. This is a remarkable uh, formula. There is nothing else in the market that is this high quality and nutrient dense and providing such an amazing spectrum of those essential fatty acids that we absolutely need to obtain from our diet every single day. And as I mentioned, Juice Plus is the most thoroughly researched health product line in the world. And why does that matter? Well, all of these studies are double blind placebo controlled. They're done uh, through reputable institutions like Harvard and Yale and even research done through the University of Toronto. And this research is also uh, randomized and has been reviewed by clinical review boards who then um, allow it to be published in clinical journals. And I just want to take a moment and touch on this because in the health supplement industry, I've seen a lot of companies uh, talk about research on their products, but oftentimes it's on ingredients in their products. It's not on actual human beings using their products versus a placebo group. So this really is the gold standard of research. And what's so wonderful is that this research adds to so much value to the clinical society that it's actually published in clinical publications and it shows a variety of health benefits. And what does this mean to you, you know, at the end of the day? It means that there is proven benefits to using concentrated whole food supplements to your health. And Juice Plus is clean and proven to do just that. And I am so pleased that I'm putting this in my body on a daily basis. I'm helping my clients do the same. And I have shared that with thousands of other people and helped them to get more nutrition. You know, we want you to eat healthy, to look at back at those seven tips for healthy living. We want you to live in a healthy body. And Juice Plus fits within that healthy lifestyle by helping to fill those gaps that are natural occurring in our diets. So I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to learn with me tonight. Uh, I'm so grateful for this opportunity. And now my friend Holly is going to share a little bit about her story with you as well. Wow, Alyssa, thank you so much for such an incredible overview of the Juice Plus products and how incredibly unique and effective they are. I mean, they really are. There is nothing else with or without a prescription like it. And she just proved that to us. But just like our product is completely unique, so is the company behind the product. You know, we live in a culture and a time where people really want to know more about the heart of the company behind the products that they choose to purchase and invest in. They care about the company's core values, its, its history, its hope for the future, its leadership, and probably most important to me, its philanthropic impact. Also, when people are impressed with those companies and their hearts and their missions align, they often want to know if there's opportunities to partner together. Um, also, is there potential to invest and create an additional stream of income through that partnership? Well, tonight, it's my pleasure to answer some of these questions for you. My name is Holly Morris. I'm a wife, a mom of boys, and an entrepreneur. 
I like to say I'm a people motivator, a difference maker, a hope educator, and a business builder. And tonight, I'm excited and honored to introduce you to the Juice Plus Company. Who are we? Well, that's a big question with a multi-layer answer. But at the center of it all, really, we are mission-driven. We're a group of individuals on a mission to make an impact on the state of our health as a nation and as a world. So the mission that we're on is to inspire people to live their best life. We wanna teach people how to respect and nourish and care for their bodies through nutrition and lifestyle choices. We want every individual to experience an optimal quality of life. So how do we do that? <laughs> well, we lead with education, compassion, and partnership every step of the way. We are solution focused, we're heart centered, and we're grounded with honest principles. And I love this, we're backed by a 50 year old company. Our founder and president, Jay Martin, is actually still really highly involved and working at the helm with us still today. Um, I love to share about our company's core values. So let's talk about those a second. The Juice Plus company's core values are longevity, authenticity, quality, community, simplicity, and approachability. So let's dive into those just a little bit because I want you to truly know the heart of this company. So we value longevity. We have a 50-year-old company, as I mentioned earlier, but we value longevity by looking at the long-term well-being of customers, our partners, and the employees. We demonstrate authenticity by doing what we say in our relationships. We value quality by delivering premium and sustainable products and services for our customers, partners, and employees. We promote community as we strive to be a supportive community of like-minded friends with a common purpose. To do our part for those in need, we give back through the Juice Plus Foundation and other corporate and individual um, charitable activities. And I cannot wait to share with you more about what we do through our foundation. Simplicity is demonstrated as we try to make everything as simple as possible. And I don't know about you, but I need simple in my life. So from maintaining good nutrition to running a really successful business, let's keep it simple. And finally, you'll see our approachability as we welcome your feedback. Your input helps us develop even better products and services for our customers and our partners. So our company is privately held, a health and wellness company, and we operate in over 20 countries. As a matter of fact, we're excited to share that just last month, we launched our company in Mexico. Since the development of Juice Plus products in 1993, we've invested in over 25 years of gold standard testing. No other company can say that about their product. And so therefore, we are very proud to provide the most scientifically proven nutritional products in the world. We work very intentionally to embrace, share, and inspire others to take the next step in their health journey. And what we know, and we have proven through research, is that our Juice Plus products are a simple step that people can take to begin their health journey. And we believe that we can have a great impact on the health of individual families and our nation if we start by nourishing our sweet children. That's why we feed children for free with our unique program that gets the whole family involved in the process. And as of today, we've helped 1.5 million children get healthier with free product through our Healthy Starts for Family program. Also, through the Growing Up Grand program, we've placed tower gardens in over 500 boys and girls clubs across the US and Canada. And this is so they can learn to grow their own produce for snacks and meals. And St. Jude's Children's Hospital, I'm convinced, is one of the most special places on earth. They are on a mission to end childhood cancer and no family pays for their care. The St. Jude Memphis Marathon Weekend is the largest single day fundraiser for St. Jude, and we are their title sponsors. So there really is no limit to how much good we can do in the world. And as you can see, it's very important to us to have a deep philanthropic reach. In a world where our health is declining, our presence is needed more than ever. And there really is no limit to how much good we can do. 
So I'm hoping that all of that has piqued your interest and you're asking, how do I get involved? What can I do to help? Well, you know people in your circles who are looking for hope and simplicity in their nutrition and their health that we don't know. And we know that in order to achieve our mission of inspiring healthy living throughout the world, we need to partner with people that are like-minded, servant-hearted, mission-driven like you. So tonight I invite you to consider the possibility of partnering with us to live this mission, to help offer hope to more people and to generate an additional stream of income for you and others who will choose to partner with you. You know, today more than ever, people really see the value of an additional stream of income, otherwise known as a side gig. As a matter of fact, 57 million Americans are partnering with the gig economy right now. And there's lots of options out there. So why choose ours? Why make Juice Plus Partnership part of what you do? Why is it so unique? Well, for starters, Juice Plus is a consumer to consumer business, connecting people aspiring to live a healthier lifestyle with one another. And so we've taken only the best pieces of corporate America, direct sales, franchising, and network marketing to create a really unique business model of direct sales and e-commerce. Also, we have all of the benefits of the other gig economy opportunities like flexible hours, um, control over your income, more personal time, less stress, uh, more opportunities to pursue your interests, an interaction with a variety of customers, and no commute. We have all of those things too. But there's a big advantage that separates the Juice Plus franchise opportunity from other consumer to consumer businesses like Uber and Airbnb. Your income is not limited by how many hours a day you can drive or whether you have a home to rent. You simply share Juice Plus with others as you go about your daily life. With our company, you can create income by weaving conversations into the full life that you already have. To become a partner, it's a very low investment. We're talking $52 a year to be specific. Yes, you heard me correct. Only a dollar a week to become a Juice Plus partner. And for those that reach our national marketing director position by working really hard and making a significant time investment, they have the potential to take advantage of the company's benefits package. And when I say benefits package, I'm talking medical, dental, long-term health care, vision, massage, chiropractic care. It's a sweet package that you can take advantage of if you reach that top national marketing director position. Partnering with us at the Juice Plus Company, it's simple and it's smart. It makes good sense. It's a low investment. It's a product that everyone needs and has limitless potential. You can build an additional stream of income by sharing a product that benefits everyone. I mean, people already know that they need more produce, but the reality is they can't, won't, or don't consume it. So you can offer them a scientifically proven, simple solution. You can share as you live life. You can grow your income even greater by offering the opportunity to others as well. The more, the merrier. There's a place and a purpose for everyone to partner with us on this mission. You have complete control over how and who you share with, when and where you share, and your paycheck will be a direct reflection of the number of lives that you choose to invest in. I think it's also really important for you to know we're different in that there are no quotas, no inventory is necessary, and no demands or expectations are put on you. We have a simple and proven system with room for your own creativity. You set the pace and we support you along the way. It's also very unique that the Juice Plus company takes care of all the order processing, the shipping, the billing, the collecting, they take care of all of that. So you can spend your time sharing our products and earning the income. As a Juice Plus partner, You'll also enjoy really great quality promotional support with a beautiful personalized website, innovative marketing programs, and mentorship from other people who have successfully built Juice Plus teams of their own. And I always say the relationship capital that I've gained from being a partner has far outpaid me than my income. But you get to decide. The invitation is open. We'd love to partner with you. 
I believe we thrive in community and together we can make great impact. In the cafeteria of life, we all have a spot at the table and together we can make this world a better place. Our mission is to inspire healthy living throughout the world. Our company president had a vision that as people live out that mission together, that in turn, we could help as many people as possible realize their dreams. Living this mission through our business can be a vehicle to help you actualize your passions and your dreams and to say yes to things you love more often while helping others along the way. Your voice can give hope to others while you create additional income and time flexibility to build your dreams. We are mission-driven. I was looking for a mission-driven community. Are you?